In this video, we're going to find the exact coordinates of the non-stationary point of inflection of the curve y equals 2 cosh x take away 3 shine x, and we're going to need to fully justify our answer. OK, so let's find dy by dx. And so that will be 2 shine x take away 3 cosh x and d2y by dx squared will be equal to 2 cosh x take away 3 shine x. So funnily enough, we get back to our original equation uh, through differentiating twice. OK, so uh, what we would need to make sure we write down is that non-stationary points of inflection occur when d2y by dx squared is equal to zero. This is a necessary but not sufficient condition. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to put our second derivative equal to zero and solve this equation. So cosh x is e to the x plus e to the minus x over 2. And shine x is e to the x take away e to the minus x over 2. So what I can do is I can multiply through by 2. And I would be left with 2 e to the x plus 2 e to the minus x. Take away 3 e to the x plus 3 e to the minus x equals 0. So now what I have is 5 e to the minus x take away e to the x is equal to 0. So I'm going to multiply through by e to the x. So I get 5 take away e to the 2x is equal to 0. So e to the 2x must be equal to 5. So logging both sides, dividing through by 2, x is going to have to be equal to 1 half log 5. OK. So 1 half log 5 is the x value. The y value is going to be, when I substitute that into there, well, funnily enough, I'm just going to get 0, aren't I? Because I just put that equal to 0 to solve it. So the point of inflection is at 1 half log 5, 0. OK. Now, as I said, this was a necessary but not sufficient condition, so I haven't fully justified it yet. One thing that I would need to do is to double check that I'm not actually getting a stationary point. So evaluate dy by dx at 1 half log 5. So I'm going to put in 1 half log 5 into my calculator. And then I'm going to substitute that into here. So 2 times shine, the answer. Take away 3 times cosh, the answer. And we get minus 2.236. which is not equal to zero. So that is not a stationary point. OK, so that's all good. And I need to check that the uh, curve changes from convex to concave or vice versa. So I need to double check that the second derivative changes sign. OK, so what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to work out what 1 half times log 5 is, which is 0 0.8047. 
So I'm going to substitute in a point either side. So I'm going to choose 0. And I'm going to choose 1. Because they're easy to substitute in. OK. So substituting into here. So 2 times cosh of 0 take away 3 times shine of 0 gets me 2 so that's positive and let's change those to 1's and we get minus 0 0.439 which is negative so uh, we change from convex to concave. So one half log five zero is a non stationary point of inflection. Okay, and that is fully justified.